the National Educators Academy of the Philippines, of the Department of Education, was former, formerly known as the National Education Learning Center. And in the region, we call this as the Regional Education Learning Center. And this was uh, through letter of instruction number 1487 of uh, uh, entitled Institutionalizing a Revitalized Program of Teacher in Service Training in the Public School. This, this was in 1985. And on May 27, 1992, NELC was renamed from NELC to NEA or the National Educators Academy of the Philippines and expanded its functions to include the development of school managers and leaders. Now to align with the 21st century education and to meet the global demands of education, there is another issuance which is DepEd Order Number 11 Series of 2019 and this is the NAYAP transformation. NAYAP would want to renew its focus on making decisive gains in upgrading education to quality and strengthening the professional training and development of 800,000 teachers nationwide. In the region, we have more or less 45,000 teachers and school leaders who are the subject of professional development. NEA transformation is focused to streamline the professional development. Therefore, programs and courses should be relevant and research-based. Make training activities pragmatic and accountable. So all competency-based interventions should undergo the process of recognition as prescribed in Deped Order Number 1, Series 2020, and to link effectively professional development with career progression. So the competencies for teachers, school leaders, uh, school heads, and the supervisors and are now standardized through PPST or the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers, the Philippine Professional Standards for School Heads, and the Philippine Professional Standards for Supervisors. They will be moving up accordingly from one career stage to the other, from developing to proficient, to highly proficient, and to distinguished. Presently, majority of the teachers in the field are teacher one. And we don't want to allow this, that at the end, when they retire, they would end as teacher one. We want to help them move from one career to the other stage, from teacher one, teacher two, three, four, five, six, and seven, master teacher one to four, and principal one to four. To realize NAEP's mandate, we need to implement religiously the learning and development system. From this, we can be able to help what is really the problem inside the classroom because uh, the L and D system can address the learning gaps of the learners. One of the factors of the transformation is the the structure. No, so we need to change the structure. Uh, at present, we have uh, professional development delivery, and the second is evaluation and liaison unit. Right now, we have one, uh, three personnel appointed by our regional director, RD Art who will uh, facilitate the professional development delivery. And hopefully, soon, another uh, personnel will be joining the NAEAP team to compose the evaluation and liaison. Now, to attain the goal of NAEAP transformation, let us collaborate each other with this new landscape, attaining and sustaining quality education. Let us join our hands together as we say, Sulong Idukalidad, Sulong. The Department of Education continues to be confronted with so many challenges in the aspects of education delivery so that it conceptualizes a priority program now called Sulong Edukalidad which is a pivot program from access to quality. It has four components. 
And one of the four components is upskilling, reskilling, capacitating, or training our teachers and school leaders to be able to contribute into producing students who will be imbued with 21st century skills. At this point, the National Educators Academy of the Philippines is a regular and important component of the department. It takes care of the professional development of teachers and school heads and be able to support, empower, and uh, enable them to progress in their career. And it also envisions for our teachers and school leaders to be recognized in the Southeast Asian region in terms of their competence, commitment, in dedication to be able to produce learners who are at par with the rest of the students in the globe. The Department Order 111, Series of 209, is on the establishment of the National Educators Academy of the Philippines, which is aligned in the structure of the rationalization program of the Department of Education, which has been implemented for quite some time now. In Northern Mindanao, we are very serious in terms of implementing the RNEA transformation, which takes care in terms of implementing the developed training designs, which is anchored on the learner's development and needs assessment, which was done for our teachers and school leaders subjected for the capacity building. We also prioritize the provision of technical assistance to our teaching and non-teaching personnel. And to be aligned with all this vision, we're very happy that our RNAOP 10 office has undergone refurbishment and we would like to thank the Department of Education for giving us some significant funding for the repair of the facilities to ensure that these all are ready as we go back to our face-to-face -face teacher training, school leaders engagements. And even at this time that we are doing virtual engagement with our teachers and school leaders, we make sure that our facility is also ready for the virtual platform technology as our strategy to continue with our efforts on our capacity building with teachers and school leaders. This is of course anchored on the empowerment to be able to transform our teachers and school leaders in Northern Mindanao. All this and more that we do at the grassroots level is to ensure that we will empower and transform our teachers and school leaders in Region 10. We will allow them to access and be able to give active participation in terms of our mandate to deliver quality professional development initiatives to ensure that quality education for the Filipino children we envision shall be delivered. And with this, we invite everyone to please rally behind Sulung Idukalidad, Sulung Neyap, as our guided principle and inspiration to move forward to be able to close the gaps between the current performances of our schools and the desired level of performance, preparing our learners for better future. Number two, we also have to continue in terms of improving the learning environment of our students, wherever they are. Could be in the schools or even at home. And there are significant investments of the Department of Education in terms of ensuring the provision of conducive learning environment for our learners. Number three, as well as celebrate the launching of NAYAP Transformation, we focus on the teachers upskilling, reskilling, capacitating them to make sure they are ready for the challenges of teaching and learning at this time. Number four is, of course, we cannot do this all by ourselves. We keep on saying that nothing can beat the product of collaboration. So we put importance on the stakeholders' participation to be able to deliver that education everybody deserves. All these and more are contained in our program, Sulong Idukalidad, as it highlights the revisiting of our K-12 curriculum to make sure it is relevant for the time. Even at this time of the pandemic, we do some mainstreaming in our competencies, making sure that the most essential learning competencies are prioritized. 
Let us all rally behind Sulung Mayap, Sulung Idukalidad.